Bobby the bus, Bobby the bus, come and take a ride on Bobby the bus. The buses left Mornington Depot on time. All except Bobby. <sighs> Come on, Bobby, time to wake up and get on the road, said Mr. Perkins, the bus driver. Oh, no, tooted Bobby, the children will be late for school if I don't hurry. Watch out for the roadworks, hooted his dad as Bobby zoomed off. But it was too late. Bobby had left before he could find out about the closed street near the square. Hey, Bobby, don't forget about the... Oh. I'm late, can't stop, I've got to pick up the children, tooted Bobby as he zoomed by. Hey, Bobby, you're late, said the brown twins. Quick, I've got to get the children to school on time, tooted Bobby. You're late, Bobby. I'm never late, bleeped Lorian, as Bobby sped past. We'll be late for school if you don't hurry, said Timmy Thompson. <laughs> faster, Bobby, faster, said Sam Brown. Don't rush, Bobby, said Mr. Perkins, but Bobby didn't hear him. There's a bus in a rush, said Billy to Millie as Bobby flashed beneath them. I'm late, tooted. Classes were about to begin by the time Bobby stopped outside the Mornington school. Now the children are late, he tooted. Come on, Bobby, we've got another pickup, said Mr. Perkins, the driver. Another? Oh, no, I'd forgotten, tooted Bobby. And he zoomed off. Slow down, Bobby, there are roadworks. But he hadn't heard her as he zoomed past, heading straight towards them. The buses had to use another street while the men were working. Watch out! You can't go that way, Bobby! bugled Albion. The road's closed! But it was too late. Oh, no! tooted Bobby, and he rolled to a halt. Oh, you've broken your muffler, said Mr. Perkins. Bobby drove cautiously back to the bus depot. Who's making that racket? Googled Albion. Oh dear. Poor Bobby, beeped his mum. Well, let's get that exhaust seen to, said Mr. Perkins. Bobby felt very embarrassed as he drove onto the repair ramp and had his underneath checked out by the mechanic. Oh, it's a big job. Uh, you'll be off the road for the rest of the day, he said. Don't worry, Bobby. I'll pick the children up from school, beeped his friend Bessie. And I'll pick up the parcels, beeped Lorian. Bobby stayed very still while the mechanic worked. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Yeah, you must have been going very fast to get into this mess, said the mechanic as he removed the bent and buckled muffler and replaced it with a sparkling new one. OK, uh, start up, he said. Well, that's better. When Bobby backed out, the older buses were waiting for him. You could have been hurt, beeped his mum. I know I should have stopped and looked and listened, but I was late. I needed to get the children to school on time. If you hadn't slept in, you wouldn't have had to rush, honked his dad. I won't ever be late again, I promise, tooted Bobby. I'll make sure I'm awake and on time from now on to which all the other buses honked, bugled, and beeped their approval. Bobby the bus, Bobby the bus, come and take a ride on Bobby the bus. Bobby the bus, Bobby the bus, there's room enough for all of us on Bobby the bus. No matter the weather, we're all ride together, each day is a surprise, it'll open up your eyes. Bobby the bus, Bobby the bus, come and take a ride on Bobby the bus.